hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're well hope you're all doing good as you guys can see by the title i'm going to be doing a valentine's day haul haul what am i talking about i meant a valentine's day makeup look and before we get into this video this video has been kindly sponsored by anna louise jewelry they sent me some jewelry once again for their valentine's day period and I can, I'm ever so grateful and they sent me this necklace that's really pretty I actually picked these out I got this bracelet and these earrings that came with it too and I love them it's like they're so simple but yeah so effective like honestly um as you guys can see this is just a close-up of what they sent me which is diamond earrings a really pretty necklace like a padlock necklace and a bracelet that's all real gold um the diamonds the diamonds on the earrings let's get into it the diamonds are pure real like guys look look how it glistens in the camera like i love it. i don't know why guys but in this part of the clip i tried to model some of the items they sent me but anyways yeah but it's just the simpleness for me but yeah i will link everything in the description box below along with my discount code but without further ado let's get into this video so the first product i'm going to take is this smashbox primer and it's mattifying which is why i use this primer like i have very oily skin so if you're someone like me that has oily skin and you're trying to have your makeup look flawless throughout the day i'd highly highly recommend this primer because it's just so good and then the next product i'm going to take is this inglox photo finish setting spray it's actually supposed to be a setting spray but i like to do it before my makeup as it's more effective the next i'm going to take my my benefit brow pencil which i don't know the name of i actually recently just got this and i use that to finish um to fill in thin strokes in my eyebrows because i like really like that you know bushy brow trend that people been doing but it's been working for me so I thought, you know what i want to get this and i had this good next i'm going to take my Sephora concealer and my morphe m25 brush i think it is i actually don't know the shade of the concealer but i will link it in the description box below so you guys can see um which one i used and i just used that to clean up my brows and i did that with the other brown i think i did this off camera yeah i did this off camera but yeah that's just to clean it up and next i'm going to take my elf concealer in rich walnut and that's to clean the top off which is like exactly my shade because i hate i hate using concealer that's like two times lighter than my skin shade and that's my brows done next i'm going to take my foundation and the foundations that i use is the dual backstage foundation and i use my laura mercier lumer foundation i believe it is The next item I take is this Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Rich Ebony. Yeah, Rich Ebony. Is it Rich Ebony or is it? I think it's Rich Ebony. But yeah, I take this contour stick in Rich Ebony just to cover my cheekbones, my jawline, and my forehead. And I'm blending this out with my Beauty Bay brush. Beauty Bay brush. This is so weird. Like doing a voiceover is so weird to me. I'm literally struggling right now, but yeah. Oh, I didn't mention guys, but I use the Sephora concealer as well I'm under my eyes just to conceal a little bit of bags. And I also went in with a bit of the NARS concealer in Amande. And now this is to highlight, I took my Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in, I don't know what the shade, and I used my Holly Boone Concealer in the shade, I don't know what the shade is either. Um, I've usually been using this Holly Boone Concealer and it's so good guys, like the that concealer mixed with the KVD Lock It one just gives my under eyes such a nice brightness, like look at it. And then the next concealer for brightness is I took the Laura Geller concealer in the shade Bright. 
and this is the Laura Yellow Spackle Concealer. Then to set my under eye and the other areas where I highlighted, I took my Huda Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Banana Bread. And for the rest of my face, to set the rest of my face, I took my Elizabeth Arden setting powder in the shade Deep Number no. 5, which I recently just bought. And I just used that to press in where everywhere else is still covered in concealer. Because I want to get rid of that shine. I do like a matte makeup, so I use that setting powder for the rest of my face. Then to bronze the rest of my face, I took my Morphe Clam Bronze in Prodigy and my Fenty Bronze in Marco Mami just to bronze my cheekbones, my jawline and my forehead. A lot of the items you won't see in this video as I was rushing at this part because I was literally meant to meet a friend and I was taking so long, but yeah. Then to blush, I took my NYX blush in Risky Business and I mixed that with the Juvia's blush, Juvia's Place blush palette in the Sahara Volume 1 palette. But I didn't show that on camera, but yeah, I mixed those two together. And for eyeshadow, I took my Morphe 35B palette and I started with that purple shade to go in with my crease. I think it's like the transition shade, no it wasn't. But yeah, I used that purple shade just to start off with. In this same palette I took the pink and orange shade as my transition shade just to make that purple seem less harsh and just to give my like actually just more of like a valentine's -y look you know valentine's is like smothered in like pinkish and reddish so I was like let me mix this pink and orange give it a bit of red touch Next, I took my eye and I tried to create this like fancy wing that I saw on the Hidi Beauty makeup on her Instagram. And I was like, oh yeah, I want to try it. And what she did was she did this like fancy liner and filled it in with glitter. And which is exactly what I did. And guys, tell me that does not look cute. Like it actually looks so different. And I was like, I want to try this and for a Valentine's Day. And look how it came out as it should i wasn't able to film the glitter part on camera because it was so hard but i did get a little bit but next i'm going to take my kiko lip liner to line my lips i used to use like a brown lip gloss then i discovered this lip liner or the mac one and i don't think i'm gonna go back guys like look how everything's just come out and then next i'm gonna take this anastasia beverly hills matte lipstick just to like create this brown to new transition and i went over that with my elf brown lip gloss is it brown or pink nude lip gloss just to give that a transition and lastly just to make that brown liner pop i went over my dobira cosmetics lip gloss and this lip gloss i think is in the shade i don't know i've completely forgotten but the brown just made it so exciting and then i went over my lashes from amazon i will link them in the description box below And lastly, to brighten my under eye and dust off my bay, I take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 220. And I think this is the last bit of the video. I think. I, yes, it is. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And lastly, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa Jewelry. I will link my description code in the bottom below. And all the link to the website, all the pieces that I use. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I will be filming more looks like this. And yeah, stay tuned to my next video.